What's up guys, Matt Laidlaw here from Laidlaw's Harley Davidson. So I want to start off by thanking Julio for letting me take his bike out and for allowing me to feature it on the YouTube channel here. So this is a brand new Road Glide Special to 2018 model year in the Wicked Red. And what makes this bike cool is the bar setup on here. This is a bar style that's becoming more and more popular. We're kind of at the early stages of this real hot trend. I think it's gonna get even more popular. Harley Davidson Motor Company, please take notes because these are going to get very popular. So this is the Kraus Motorsports uh, T-Bar setup. So this is a 10 inch riser. And you've also got the T-Rex pullback plate by Kraus. And you got the Kraus gauge relocation kit on this as well. Gives it a really cool sporty look and just the leverage on the bars makes this thing handle a lot different. It gives it more of a aggressive handling as well. You got the Roland Sands grips on there as well that I just showed you. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of these bars. I think they look great. We'll probably build one of these for a floor model in our shop here in the near future as well. You got a Trask air cleaner, which is kind of the see-through cover on here. Trask is really well known for their turbochargers for motorcycles. So this bike is not turbocharged, it just has the Trask air cleaner. You got the Kahuna Collection timer cover on the side, the side of the cam cover there. And you got Roland Sands foot controls and floorboards as well. I'm a big fan of Roland Sands stuff. He has some really nice stuff. It's got a Bassani 2 into one Road Rage exhaust. I'll show more of that in a second. But yeah, the Kahuna Collection is a brand new collection that just came out in the 19 model year. You've got more Roland Sands foot controls and pegs for the passenger. Here's a better shot of the exhaust system. Once again, Bassani Road Rage 2 into one exhaust system. It's got the ghost pipe on the left side, which is just a fakey pipe that's there just for aesthetic reasons. And this is a Saddleman seat here. It's the LS Slim seat. So the Saddleman seat, and you can see the, the rear end there. This is all pretty much just stock Harley back here. You got stretch bags on the specials now. Here's a shot of the end caps on the Road Rage, Rage, Road Rage exhaust. On the left side, you can see you have the, the ghost pipe there, which nothing comes out of there. It's not even hooked up to the exhaust system. So this is a true two into one system. You got custom dynamics, LED turn signals on here as well. Here's a better shot of the Saddleman LS Slim seat. Shot of the left side, you got the low profile engine guard from Harley Davidson there. More Roland Sands foot controls and floorboards on here. You got the Kahuna Collection Derby cover on the on the left side, which matches nicely with the horn cover. Here's a shot of the Kahuna Collection Derby cover. Big fan of the Kahuna Collection guys. I'm really liking their stuff. That's a genuine Harley Davidson part there. Here's another shot of the bar setup. I believe these are Harley Davidson profile mirrors. And here's another shot of the Kraus setup. Real cool how it relocates the gauges. This is a 10 inch, like I said, and you've got the gauges right below the infotainment system as well. So you can still have the, the full viewable area of the infotainment system. Here's your uh, profile crash bar as well. Another thing I'll mention as well is you've got the Harley Davidson auto tuner that tunes this bike. So the Pro Street Tuner piggybacked with the Auto Tuner with the wide O2 sensors, the wide band O2 sensors. This is a Russ Wernemont front fender and it was paint matched at factorymatch.com. So yeah, it's a really nice fender that, that hugs the front wheel. This is not the genuine Harley one. Harley makes one that's very similar, but this is the Russ Wernemont front fender. And stock wheels, these are the Talon wheels, 19 inch front wheel, it's just a stock wheel that comes on the Road Glide Special now. So yeah, it came out real clean. You've also got those Screaming Eagle spark plug wires on there that are red as well. And yeah, just a really clean looking bike. The windshield is the Clockworks 9 inch flare windshield as well. But yeah, the bar setup, the height and everything used just came out really, really clean and, and real proportional on this bike.
So this bike was a lot of fun to ride. The T-bar setup definitely gave it a completely different feel to the handling. Just the leverage on these these straight across T-bars really changed the whole posture and ergonomics of the bike as well. It was more of a uh, aggressive ergonomics to it. The stock bars are more of a mellow type of leverage and handling on on the bike. So the this T-bar setup on, with the Kraus risers and everything kind of gave it more of like a like a club style bagger almost. So you know these club style bars or these T-bars are really popular with the Dynas and the soft tails and so applying that same type of leverage and, and look to a to a bagger was a lot of fun. The the parts themselves are you know, the fit and finish is really good. I feel like they were really really solid, and the gauges were real readable. I'm actually really impressed too with just the fit and how the gauges lie right below the infotainment system there. Just the the riser setup and everything was like the perfect measurement because you can get these Kraus risers in, in a couple different measurements, well several different measurements, and so yeah the the exact measurements and setup and parts that Julio went with on this bike turned out really good. So, you know, for my height, I probably would have gone a little bit higher, uh, but maybe I wouldn't have because who knows where I would put the gauges. And at that point, the gauges may block the, the screen altogether. But yeah, it was a lot of fun to ride. And the Bassani exhaust system is definitely a good one. It ran good on this Milwaukee 8 with uh, the auto tuner. Something I get asked a lot of questions about is exhaust. Of course, it's always a real hot topic among Harley owners. And as I've said in past videos, you have to really be careful about the full exhaust systems you put on the Milwaukee 8 engine because a lot of exhaust systems out there, you actually lose low end power. But we've had pretty good luck with two into one pipes. But the big thing about a two into one pipe that kills it for me a lot of times is the aesthetics where you have this big empty hole on the left side, especially with the stretched bags on the specials, the Road Glide and Street Glide special nowadays you have those stretch bags from the factory and so you have this big gaping hole on the left side with a two in one pipe however with this Bassani Road Rage setup with the ghost pipe on the left you fix that problem the exhaust note on the Bassani two in one Road Rage is pretty good too it's more of that high crisp pop noise um, although I probably shouldn't use the word pop to describe it because it ran really good with the auto tuner there was absolutely no decel or exhaust pop or backfire at all which historically speaking on a full exhaust system you pretty much just counted on exa exhaust decel pop but on this bike I purposely ran it up to an RPM where I would typically shift and just let off the throttle to let it decel down and used engine braking a lot just because I loved the sound of the exhaust and the bike ran so well that you know I, I just I used it a lot and I just loved the sound of the exhaust in all ranges of the, of the RPM and you know that's usually the exhaust sounds better in the upper range or the lower end but i feel like this thing sounded really good at decel or and acceleration so yeah this tuning and this pipe sounded pretty dang good uh, i typically like exhaust that's a little bit deeper tone to it but you know the exhaust note is all 100 percent a preference so yeah this bike was just a lot of fun to ride we're, like I said, we're probably going to be building another Road Glide with this exact bar setup on here. Uh, Jamie, the technician, our, our shop foreman that put the bike together, said that the wiring is very tricky. I get a lot of people contacting me about questions on these bars. Uh, I'm not going to be able to answer, guys. So if you, if you call me or email me or something like that on specifics about these bars and how to install them, I didn't install the bars. I can't really answer those types of questions. So if you have questions like that, you can come in and see us. But this is not really a DIY bar setup. These things kind of need to be professionally installed. But because the, the, just the wiring and everything to hide everything is kind of hard. But yeah, the, the way that Jamie did it is very, very clean and it came out really, really nice. So. Yeah, huge fan. Anyways, guys, if uh, you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.